the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that. Yeah. Here comes the, no. here comes the, oh. here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that. So I keep big bills up in my heart on the dirty like blood So ain't got no twist in my head, but I'm still dreadful And I got plenty of bread, so I go to bed full I'm in it to win it to win it, I'm all in I might call you my cuz, young blood, but we ain't kidding no. You think of jumping, man, you best think again in the dirty, I'm the type of man that might go broke for revenge Had some not so nice friends, kick the dough off the hinge Take the dough off your bins, pop up my four of your friends Man, please Bridge football, we go hard. Hey PRP sports fans, welcome to the first edition of Panther Review. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Jake. With 20 sports teams here at PRP, who has time to keep up with all of them? Yeah, and I play on one of them, so you really don't have time. Right. I play on one of them too, and I basically live at PRP. We're here with the head coach of the soccer team here at Pleasure Ridge Park. Uh, coach Phillips, what was the most memorable game so far this season? It definitely would have to be the first game of the season. Uh, we played Butler, outshot them, out aggressed them, uh, and beat them 3 0. And we've never beat uh, the Butler Bears. Uh, by more than one, so it was a great game and a great way to start off our year. Wow. It is a great way to start off your year. So what are your challenges for this year? Um, the challenge is just bringing the team together. You know, uh, we're not a school where we have 40,000 soccer players. A lot of guys have to step up. Playmakers have to make plays, but other guys that might lack a certain couple of skills have to step up in the areas they're really good at to help the team out. Uh, I heard you had some uh, dominant seniors this year. Um, what about next year? What are some seniors we'll be looking for out on the pitch next year? Uh, next year our seniors will be Donna Rea, um, Alberto uh, Martinez, uh, and Darren Hodge. Um, those guys will definitely lead the team, do a great job, and uh, we're looking forward to our season next year. But we definitely want to finish strong with the district title this year with our seniors now. So what does the rest of the season behold? When does the playoffs begin? Uh, right now we have six games left in three weeks. Um, we have a couple tough matches with the Sales and Fern Creek. They're in the top of the region. We're right below them in the region. Um, and then the district tournament play will start the second, third week of October. Uh, and that will, of course, be with Faradale Valley and Holy Cross. Uh, I know your little brother is on the soccer team. Uh, what's it like coaching your own brother? Um, it has tons of ups and tons of downs. Uh, but there's nothing uh, better in my coaching career than coaching my brother. Um, it's a unique situation that not a lot of people get to experience, but over the past four years, I'm really proud of the player and man he's become, and uh, it's just been a great experience overall. Wow. Well, thanks, Coach Phillips, for stopping by on your, uh, I know you got a busy schedule. Um, we really look forward to supporting the soccer team this year and cheering you on, and especially cheering you on when you go get that district title. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Now let's take a look at some of PRP's other amazing sports. Not the type be in the tank, but in that robot. Man, please, I'm in the zone like AIDS full blown. I'm killing it like a blind man reading. I'm feeling it like oh, yeah. Here comes the Now we're here with the uh, boys golf coach here at PRP. Uh, coach Mike, how long have you been coaching? Uh, this is my 15th year as a golf coach and my 16th year. How's the season been going this year? Well, the season's been going pretty well. Uh, we've had some ups and downs. Uh, we've had as high as a second place finish in a tournament. We've had as low as a 13th place finish in a tournament. Uh, but that was to be expected. We graduated four seniors from our state team last year. And so we knew we'd be a little bit young and inexperienced, but we've steadily improved throughout the year. So region was Monday, correct? Correct. So how did that do with the region? Regional tournament went well for us. Uh, we came in a fourth place finish as a team, which was out of 26 schools, which was really good. And more importantly, senior Eric Geiger came in second place overall, which qualifies him for the state tournament next week. Speaking of uh, the state tournament, how are you guys preparing for that? Well, uh, 
Eric and I will get together this week and, and play a couple practice rounds. Uh, golf's a little unique compared to a lot of the other sports in PRP. Uh, a lot of the players do practice on their own. They have their own swing coaches. They, they belong to certain courses and go practice. So besides our matches and tournaments, we may take one or two days out of the week to have team practice. But, you know, he'll, he'll be ready to roll. So you coach a lot here. How would you look at next season? Well, uh, we're looking forward to next season. Uh, junior Chase Hall also played well in the regional. He came in ninth place. And uh, so he'll be our leader and our only senior. Uh, and we've got some sophomores and freshmen in the program that will hopefully uh, practice hard and be ready to contribute next year. Wow. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, thank you, Coach White, uh, for stopping by on your busy schedule. And um, I'll definitely be cheering for you on the state tournament. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all don't really want it. Y'all don't really want it. Don't really want it. Y'all don't really want it with me. I know you shook me when I'm coming. When I'm coming. When I'm coming for you. We're here with yet another sports team that made it to the state finals last year. Um, the quarterback, Blake Byerly, obviously number 10. Uh, Jacob French was not able to be here today because he was hurt during baseball practice. Uh, he's fine right now, but his current condition did not allow him to be here today. Um, Blake, how long have you been playing football? Ever since youth league, like peewees, juniors, and seniors, like, football's always been my passion. I understand you guys went to the state finals last year. How has the team changed from last year to this year? I mean, we lost a lot of star players like Taewon Taylor and uh, Jacob Clare, but I think we rebuilt during the offseason, and we're right where we want to be. Um, who are some key seniors that have really put in work in the offseason and taken initiative on the field? I think about all the seniors put in work on offseason, but definitely Cornelius Langston, Austin Lutz, yourself, Jacob Burba, Isaiah Young, um, Matt Lawson, Dalton Gentry, all put in work during the offseason to be where we want to be now. Um, how hard do you guys practice, and what do you guys practice on during the week to prepare for a game on Friday? We always go hard in practice, but we always focus on the little thing, make sure every little thing is perfect, so during the games we'll be fine. Uh, speaking of practice, what's it like on Wednesday? Oh, me! But uh, Coach Moore always does that, and uh, it's really funny. It makes the practice go by a little faster because he cracks it up, man. Uh, so when did the playoffs begin? Uh, after the Central game, our last game. Well, thanks, Blake, for stopping by. Uh, you and I both know the daily grind of being a student athlete. Yeah. And um, I'm really looking forward to Friday's game. Me too, man. So you heard it here first on Panther Review. I'm Jonathan Peck, and this is the Blake Byerly. Until next time. For ya, it's gonna sound like when I'm coming, like when I'm coming, like.